I've done it again. Let's pretend this is a brand new video and I'm not wearing the same clothes as the last one. I thought it would be nice this time to do a little bookshelf tour. Now my bookshelves are only small, I just have two of them here. Um, I've only really been collecting books, if you can call it that, since 2013. I've always read a lot, I've always been really into reading, but I never really kept my books. I'd sort of leave them behind, leave them at my mum's house or um, take out library books. And it was only 2013 when I decided to commit more time to formal reading every single day that I thought I'd keep my books and build up a little library. So this is the beginnings of that library. It's only three years worth. Let's have a look. Okay, so these are my bookshelves. I bought them from Ikea. I'm not entirely sure what the model is off the top of my head, but I will find out and leave a link below. Now at the top here, you can see my Harry Potter objects. On the far left, I have my Snape Pop. I have my Hogwarts mug in the middle, and then I have a <laughs> Snape figurine, and in the box there is a ceramic. Snape figurine. I really like Snape, which is quite heavily influenced by my undying love for Alan Rickman. And then if we look down just below it, you can see on the left my Harry Potter shelf. On the far left I have my character vault, my artifact vault, those books. I'm not sure what the series is called actually, I feel like I should know this. Um, but I've got my character vault, my magical places vault, and my creatures vault. I don't have an artifact vault, I'm lying. I Next to them, the little red and blue book are my limited edition Chamber of Secrets and Philosopher's Stone books that my uncle Ian bought for me for my birthday when I was about 12, just after I got into the Harry Potter books. I'm not sure if they did the rest of the series like this. I have looked for them and I can't find them anywhere. In the middle I have a box set of the books which Rich bought me for Christmas or my birthday, I can't remember which, just because. And next to that I have my Hogwarts Library box set which is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Quidditch Through the Ages and Tales of Beagle the Bard. After that, right on the end in the corner, I have got three of my Harry Potter series. I do have the rest of them somewhere but I used them to take photos for a blog post and I have no idea where I put them. I think they are somewhere in the spare room, but that room is really, really messy. Now we're looking on the shelf below. The rest of this shelf is my general fiction and non-celebrity biography or autobiography shelf. You can see it has four shelves full at the moment and right there on the bottom of your screen now in the corner you can see my collection of Murakamis. We will have a closer look in a moment. By the way, I found out how to say Murakami. I googled some website where it brought up Japanese speakers saying it and they all said Murakami and ever since then every time I've heard someone say his name they've said, Mur said Murakami. So I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I like the way I say it. I'm going to keep with it until I find out for certain otherwise. If you speak Japanese and you know, please let me know. <laughs> and then right there at the bottom, I have got my Gerard Way Revenge Era pop. You will also notice right in the top right hand corner, I have got my Black Parade Gerard Way and my Skeleton Gerard Way who only turned up yesterday and now I'm really happy that I have the complete set. Okay, now we are looking on this side. So these ones at the top, let me just refocus that, I'm not sure if it's entirely focused. These ones at the top are my non-fiction and my celebrity biography or autobiography. You can probably see I have some of the literary greats such as Anton Deck, Alan Carr, Joey Essex and Keith Lemon. I am nothing if not classy. I also have a lot of my true crime books here. You can probably see just on the bottom shelf the second book from the left. You can see Myra Hindley's eye peeking out at you. Um, and I also have books about Fred and Rose West and Harold Shipman up there. 
as well as some more general non-fiction books such as Get Rich Blogging, which by the way does not tell you how to get rich blogging, um, Grace and Perry's Play Into the Gallery, and some comedy books by John Richardson, Dave Gorman and the like. Now here we have my Gerard Ways that I was just talking about and also a couple of old photo albums because I'm not really sure where to put them at the moment. I will have to sort that out. And down at the bottom here, these are my TBR books. A lot of these books are books that I have already read a long time ago, um, especially the top shelf to the left of the Dickens Cloth Bound Classics box set. But they are books that either I didn't finish or I don't really remember because they were so long ago and I feel like I need to really devote some more time to them. Then they're on that table, just here are the books I was just talking about in my last video. Yes, that is another Myra Hindley. Let's go and have a closer look. Okay, here is my general fiction, my first shelf. They are in alphabetical order. So you can see they start with Anderson. Yes, which you can't see, it's tucked right around the corner. And it goes through to Huang. My favorite book on this shelf is Anti Burgess's A Clockwork Orange. I also have a disproportionate amount of young adult books on this shelf. Young adult is not my thing, so I don't have very many books at all that would fall under that genre, but I have quite a few here, you will see If I Stay, and The Fault in Our Stars over on the right hand side. And here, this is my Murakami collection, right here, um, and I have quite a lot of books on this shelf that I really had no feelings about. Tigers in Red Weather is a good example of a book that I really didn't care about. Okay, on this shelf you can see the rest of my Marakamis on the left. And then I also have some sort of um, bookshelf staples if you like. I've got Lolita on there, I've got The Casual Vacancy, The Great Gatsby, 1984 and Animal Farm and oh The Catcher in the Rye, The Notebook and some John Steinbeck on the end as well. So this is like your real cliched reader shelf. It's not meant to be, it's just a coincidence. It's down at the bottom here, right at the bottom, we have Steinbeck through to Zusak. Um, the book feast you can see over there, as well as my little Gerard Way there. These little tiny books in the middle, just next to the big yellow book, which is called Cairo. Collections of Oscar Wilde, Poetries and Quotes. I really, really love Oscar Wilde. I, I was going to say I don't have enough books. I have five of his books down there, but I really want some more. So if you have recommendations, let me know. At the moment, I've got a picture of Dorian Gray. I've got A Woman of No Importance. Um, and I've also got the Little Black Penguin Classic, Lord Arthur Savile's Crime. I know they released a new wild one as well that I'm really looking forward to getting. This is my non-fiction shelf. You will notice that my non-fiction shelf is a lot smaller than my fiction one. I've recently started reading a lot more non-fiction, way more non-fiction than I read fiction. But the past three years have been the opposite, so I'm sort of trying to play catch up at the moment. So you will see these are a mix of celebrity biographies or autobiographies and true crime. On the left I have Anton Deck, I oh, what a lovely pair. I love Anton Deck. They are possibly my favourite people in the world behind Rylan, who unfortunately does not have a book because I would read the hell out of that. A mix of YouTuber books, which I don't really know why I bought because they're the big YouTubers who I don't really watch. I just kind of wanted to. And also some art books. You'll see I've got Tracy Emin up there. My second non-fiction shelf. Again, it's a mix of celebrity biography. Not so much. I think it's only Keith Lemon and Malala, which is a really interesting mix. And then I've got some art books, a couple of Grayson Perry. Oh no, only one Grayson Perry book with the other ones upstairs. TBR. And I've got in the middle, my death books. I'm about to do a Masters in Death, so it's not maybe as creepy as it sounds. Um, followed by a couple of books on feminism. Um, again, this is organised alphabetically, so my first shelf is... I've got I put Anton Deck first because it's just Anton Deck, isn't it? You don't really use their last names. 
So I've put Anton Deck first, and that goes up to oh, so I'm beginning with an M. I think no J that I can't see the author's name of that one. And then my second shelf is Kirby up to these two books that are so terrible they don't even have an author's name not even on the inside that is how bad they are to be honest if i'd written these books i would be ashamed to put my name on them as well so i don't blame them here are my little gerard ways that i'm so happy about and my family portraits and then down at the bottom here are my tbrs this box set I'm in love with. My mum bought it for me for this Christmas just gone. It's Charles Dickens Cloth Bound Classics. I didn't expect to get it at all. I did put it on my Christmas list but it was kind of more for my own future reference and it was on there for two years and then my mum bought it for me and I was so happy I thought I may have cried. These shelves are not alphabetical they are just thrown together any which way. I've got another Harry Potter book at the bottom because I didn't have enough space to put it at the top. And also I have two of these. I've got two Half-Blood Princes for some reason. The other one is just hidden under that pile. And I've also got two more copies of, of Mice and Men, which is my favourite book. I don't know why I have three copies, but I've put the two spares down there. So you can see these are just thrown together in any which order. Sorry about the light on there, I can't do much about that I'm afraid. And then whenever I need to read a book, I just choose one from here. Um, you can see I'm kind of running out of space. This gap, by the way, which really annoys some of my friends, is to differentiate between my red non-fictions and my TBRs. But I think I may need to start filling that soon because I've got a whole pile of books upstairs and downstairs that need to go on here and they're definitely not going to fit in that little space. The little Joe Malone box at the bottom, by the way, is filled with gig tickets and theatre tickets and little mementos of fun things I have done. The last thing to show you, um, you're going to have to excuse the mess, I need to sort this out. But on this little table here is where I keep the books that I have read that I need to take photos of for my blog post, my reading roundup at the end of the month. So you can see I've got Choke on the top. Underneath is Gone Girl, and then just up here is um, one of the little penguin black classic book things. It's Emily Bronte, The Night is Darkening Around Me. I didn't enjoy it very much. There are my bookshelves. I hope you have enjoyed this little mini tour. I know it's not as long or as detailed as some, um, but I don't really have that many books to show at the moment. That will all change soon, I am sure. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up or a subscribe. That's my thumb up. It's very out of focus. Or a subscribe. It's been very nice talking to you again and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.